You really must try this because it's uh what could be beer? It is a slow roasted pork. Nothing fancy, just happens to be my favorite. That is the best it's ever been anywhere. In fact, it's too good. It is so good that when I'm finished with it, I'll pay my check, walk straight into the kitchen, and shoot the cook. Hey guys, and welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week, a sort of cathartic episode, as Once Upon a Time in Mexico, along with its DVD special features, convinced a 15-year-old Babish that he could not only make movies, but cook as well. Director Robert Rodriguez shows us exactly how to make his version of Puerco Pibil, which I'm going to follow to the letter, with the small exception of toasting the spices beforehand, which is going to just enhance their flavors. We've got five tablespoons of annatto seeds, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, eight whole allspice berries, a teaspoon of cloves, and a half teaspoon of black black peppercorns. Spice smoke. Don't breathe this. Seriously though, don't breathe that and make sure everything is ground to an extremely fine powder, otherwise you're going to have gritty meat. Next we're going to heat things up a little bit with the addition of two habanero peppers, veins and seeds removed, unless you're some kind of wild man. The liquid marinade starts with a half cup of orange juice, a half cup of white vinegar, the juice of five whole lemons, so you can skip your hand crunches today at the gym, our chopped habanero and our ground spices. Next up the most important part according to Rodriguez, a splash of the finest tequila you can get your hands on, so I'm going to add a good splash to the marinade and a good splash to myself. Make sure that's good enough for the meat, and it is, so we're going to blend this together with two tablespoons of salt and then it's meat time. Pork butt is from exactly where you think it is on the pig, that's right, the shoulder, and it responds extremely well to acidic marinades and long, slow cook times. So once we've cleaned the gristle and silver skin from our pork and cut it into two inch chunks, we're going to place it in a plastic bag along with the marinade and let it sit for 30 minutes before introducing it to some banana leaves. Now banana leaves aren't the easiest thing in the world to get. If you can't find them, just use tin foil and maybe add a star anise pod to your spice mix. Otherwise line a casserole with the banana leaves and fill it with the pork, wrap the whole thing up and seal tight with aluminum foil to make sure no steam escapes. Place in a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven and do not disturb for a bare minimum of four hours. Your patients will be rewarded with pork that is so tender you can cut it with a dang spoon. Dude, shut up with the added benefit of it being really, really tasty. One of the classic ways to serve puerco pibil is simply over a bed of white rice with some sliced limes and cilantro, or parsley if you want it to look like you're using cilantro because you hate cilantro. This is a perfectly lovely way to serve it, and it's the way that it's served in the movie, but I for one prefer taco form, which just wouldn't be complete without some quick pickled red onions. Simply slice some onions, add optionally some mustard seed, and cover with boiling apple cider vinegar, and let steep at least 30 minutes or until the onions are nice and soft. In the meantime, toast up some corn tortillas in a dry saute pan. Always double wrap your tacos for safety. Top up with our quick pickled red onions and some <clears throat> cilantro. Served with sliced limes for squeezing and some more tequila for sipping. And maybe throw on a bulletproof apron if you're cooking for Johnny Depp. 